But first, before you crack them open. <laughs> hey, Omar. <laughs> what are you doing? I look at you. You're going to look under the truck? Yeah. Be careful, okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, check it out. We got a Chevy O2 with a 3500 right here. It's a heavy duty one. Uh, on this uh, video, we're gonna be changing the rear diff because you can see, you can see it's uh, start, starting to leak. So we're gonna change the gasket. We get the oil. So 80, 90 for the oil on this uh, O2. It shows uh, two different size of so ring gear. So I got the 11 and a half ring gear and then this is a 10 and a half ring gear. So I picked up both. And of course, I'm gonna use one of them. So it's better to pick up both than one. You don't wanna go back to the store and pick up the other one. And we're gonna use 14 mil to crack those bolts open, 14 bolts. You use a ratchet, three inch drive, a long ratchet with a flex head. Three, three inch drive this is the one that you crack the fill plug open impact to zip them off and then up in a chain fluid so let's get started all right so we're back down here here's the rear diff you get a good view of that wow so i spray some penetrating fluid already on those bolts easy to come off so we're gonna have to crack them open and then after that we'll zip them off but first, before you crack them open... Hey Omar! <laughs> what are you doing? I look at you. You gonna look under the truck? Yeah. Be careful, okay? Yeah. Okay. You, you're gonna be in the video. Alright, so up here, there's that fill plug. This is where you fill the oil after when everything is all installed right. So I cracked them open already using that long ratchet and then you're just gonna spin that open crack this open before you uh, drain the oil because you never know because this might not come out it might get stuck so you can see uh, oil start dripping already so you know that uh, we got full oil in there okay so we're just gonna crack this open here and then uh, get all the cover out and the gasket all right guys so i crack all this uh bolt loose already uh i used 13 mil so you can see it's all rusted out so uh make sure uh white brush or anything kind of wire that you need to clean those heads so you could put this uh socket on there because you don't want to strip this thing down if this thing strip round off oh man you're gonna be a big trouble you can have to go to the dealer and buy all all four, 14 bolts and they're about like eight bucks a piece but yeah they're all loose so now we're just gonna use the impact zip them off in this case make sure what drain pan down the bottom guys you're gonna grab two pry bars here so just gonna pry it on the edge some right here you can feel it that it will grab there you go so brown Yeah, so this cover, we're gonna clean her up, get all the old gasket, the rust, the dirt, and then we'll put a brand new in.
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright guys, so you're gonna clean that cover first, make sure soap and water inside and outside of the cover and then when you are done that, you're gonna clean this out and just use a brake clean. I'm gonna spray brake things around here. You're gonna take out this old gasket. Nice and clean. Scrape it with the razor blade. See how the gasket looks like the use silicone gasket on this so it's gonna be a lot of cleaning this uh brake clean is gonna make it soft spray on the inside to get all the old old gear oil you can see down here in the bottom that round thing look like a like a donut those are a magnet see those are fine metal and get sucked in there so it won't go on the on the oil so it gets stuck in there so clean those off just wipe it off and see how black that is watch this see look at that Who knows when was this thing been done, but uh, it needs, needs to be done. All right, we'll uh, clean it up and then uh, put the old cover on with a brand new gasket. All right, guys, so this is all nice and clean now. I cleaned the holes, the gasket, silicone gasket is out. So it's not here anymore. And of course, look at that, nice and silver color cover gasket. All the old gasket is out. Oil is gone, cover here. All those flakes of the rust is uh, kind of almost gone. So I double check. I kind of line up the hole like this on the gasket and uh, find out that this is an 11 and a half ring gear. 11 and a half ring gear. So this is the 11 and a half ring gear. That's a part number right there. Uh, we'll uh, line her up, place the gasket, and then we'll uh, put the bolts hand tight and then we'll torque it to spec. All right guys, so the bolts, I'm gonna reuse the old one because uh, this is all I got and the dealer store is closed. So I kind of simmer it on the brake cleans for uh, half an hour, 45 minutes and clean the treads. So it's nice and clean. Line up the gasket, just like that. Make sure it's nice and dry on both sides of the cover and the differential. So just gonna, Line it up like that. Put one bolt on the middle on the top. One on each side. Make sure. Just like that. Okay. There you go. So just gonna put uh, everything, all the bolts in here. We're gonna hand tie it. Alright, so let's just go to the number two setting on this one. Alright, number two setting on our impact gun right here. We're gonna zip them off with all these bolts right here. Last one down here. All right, so that's good. We're gonna torque this to spec is next. All right guys, so it's time to torque all these 14 bolts all around here, just nice and snug right now. So online, I read online, I don't have my uh, my source to uh, find out the torque spec on all this. So I just went online and they said it's 25 or 30 foot pounds. I think 30 is kind of overkilling it. So we're gonna stick with 25 foot pounds right here, okay? So let's go with that. So uh, this is a 13 mil. So we get an extension, lock it in. I'm gonna tuck this in pattern. So it's all bo bottom out already. So it's gonna go by feel here. There you go. 
and then do a zigzag pattern. There you go. All right guys, so I just finished torquing all these bolts in a crisscross pattern. So now we're just gonna go run it one more time, just making sure that you don't miss anything. So you start from whatever you wanna start. I will start right here by the bracket and then go around and then finish it off. Here's the last one. That's it. So torque to spec, all done. Now let's uh, fill her up with the fluid. All right guys, so here's the oil that we're gonna use. 8090 synthetic, hypoid. Uh, this is the only oil I can find at the parts store. So that's the hole right there. And I got no hole, so I put some oil into this empty bottle right here with the spouts on the tip. It should be easy to uh, fill up that hole. So we're gonna fill this up all the way to the top. Let's squeeze the bottle in. He's gonna have to keep doing that. I believe it's only like three and a half liters on this or three and three quarters. All right, so that's empty. First bottle's done and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so this is the second liter right here. Let's see if this goes in here. Squeeze it in, squeeze the bottle. And when you see oil dripping down, puking out, that's when you know that it's full and you could put the plug back in. All right guys, so I got the plug on there because it's uh, start puking fluid already. It was uh, three and three quarters of a fluid that I put in there. So now we're gonna tighten her up, snug her up, and then this is ready to go. So make sure when you leave, this thing has to be dry. Use a brake clean, spray it, wipe it. Same thing with that extra oil down there. Snug her up, brake clean, wipe it. So it's nice and dry. So that in the next, uh, who knows, couple days, couple weeks, couple months, you know it's dry, you know it's not leaking. So that's it guys, this is done. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again on our next one.